What's up people, today we are going to be talking about hacks. What is it? Why people use it? And should you be using it? So this is the main hacks website and hacks is basically a language that compiles or transpires to other languages. That's it. Nothing fancy. Does what it says on the tin. These are the languages that it ports to. So you can write in hacks and it will transpire or compile to C sharp, PHP, Java, Lua, Node, whatever. Like these are the main languages that Hack supports. Not all languages, but just a few. And um, this is what it looks like. And it looks like JavaScript or TypeScript or ActionScript. And that's because it's from the same family as those languages. It's from the ECMA script family. And although it's not a scripting language, it looks basically like one of those. So um, let's have a look at the list of languages it supports, which are over here. Let me get rid of this notification, which you shouldn't be seeing. Um, but yeah, so like I said, it supports JavaScript, um, PHP, Python, Lua, C++, all these. And it's got, it supports Nico and Hashlink. So Nico and Hashlink are basically virtual machines. So if you're, um, like let's say you're running a hacks game engine or something that needs specific binaries, um, then you can run that in Nico because Nico already has those binaries um, if you want to run a quick test of what you're doing. So what is hacks used for? Well, for multiple use cases, as you can see on the website, there are games, web, mobile, desktop, um, but the primary thing that hacks is used for is games. So as you can see here, these are popular games that have been made with hacks. Dead Cells, Northgard, Papers, Please, I don't know how to pronounce this game, um, Defender's Quest, Evo Land, and the benefit of making a game with hacks is, like I said, it will export to these languages. So you write the code once, and then it will export to other things. So it's not really used much in apps, like it's, it's got web, mobile, desktop here, but I've seen it more used in games, and I think there are other tools in in web that do a similar thing, so like React Native, um, you've got Flutter, you write the code once and it exports to iOS and Android. Um, I don't know why it hasn't taken off in the web or mobile desktop field, um, it's, it's a great language, but for some reason it's taken off in games, people love it for games. So let me show you how to write your first hacks file. Now of course to get hacks on your system, you need to go to the website, click on download and it'll take you to this page, download it for your relevant um, operating system, so Windows, Mac or Linux. And I'm going to be using VS Code, if you're using that as well, please be sure to download this um, this uh, installer. I don't know what you call these again, package? Anyway, this will help you debug hacks, it will help you syntax highlight hacks, syntax highlight hacks, say that really fast 10 times. Um, and yeah, just all around um, helpful tips and stuff for hacks. So let's jump to VS Code. This is it. This is an empty folder. So I've just got one empty hacks, first hacks file folder. Um, I'm gonna open up the terminal, if I remember the shortcut, this is it. And um, wait for it to load up a bit, it takes a long time. No, now it, this says via hub3, just ignore that. In fact, I'm gonna use bash, not to confuse you. And I've got hacks installed already. So if I do hacks for version, it says 4.01. I know the latest version is 4.1.1. .1. Um, I'm just being lazy, so but this will still work. So let's make a few files. Let's make a file called main.hx and let's make another one called build.hxml. Cool, so we've got our main hacks file and our build um, xml, so hxml, hacksml whatever, um, it's conventionally called main and build, but these can be called whatever you want. Let's make a class, um, let's call it main, so we have main class, and then what we want to do is have a simple um, static method, and we'll call that main as well, and what this is gonna do is gonna print hello world. And you need to have semicolons and hacks or the thing will break. Uh, format that to tabs and that's it. So as you can see, this is a simple hacks file. So say I wanted to convert this hacks file to JavaScript. This is what this is for. So 
what we need to do is tell it a few things. We need to tell it the main hacks file or the main hacks, the main class you want to use is also called main, capital M. Um, we want to convert it to JavaScript and we'll leave it in the root and call it main.js. Actually, conventionally it's called index.js. So we'll call it index.js. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much it. So to run this, run, let me clear this up a bit. Build, I don't know why it's got the slash, is that common? Anyway, build, uh, actually no, hacks, build dot hxml, boom. Why does it say that? Current process build, uh, da, 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 da. that's unusual. Found, not found, oh, because I'm in, I'm in the wrong first, there we go. And now when I run this, class demo start with my case. oh, that's my fault. Capital M, you saw that a mile away, didn't you? There we go. It's our index.js file. Ta-da, as simple as that. And if I want to do a Python file, just change this to Python, and how to spell. Uh, P-I-T, that's not how you spell, is it? P-H-Y-T-O-N, there you go. Python, no, that's not, it's, not got, it's got no H. And do P-Y, actually, why is that not syntax highlighting? Does that work? Mm -hmm. No, I, I just can't spell. H goes there, whoops. There we go, that's the purple I'm looking for. Same thing, run hacks build. Boom, we have the Python file. Oh, man, I'm making all the mistakes today, aren't I? So let's get rid of that. We don't need that because what's pH? No one knows. Boom, that's it. As a Python file, JavaScript file, job done. And as I said before, it supports uh, all these languages. So all these will, will happen in the same way. Um, C Sharp and Java, I think, are a bit more involved. So you need to download a, um, a plugin for them, a package for them. But apart from that, everything else is as simple as. Um, yeah, and that's it. Hopefully you found that helpful. I'm going to be doing more videos about hacks. I'm going to talk about the difference in syntax between hacks in TypeScript or hacks in JavaScript. Um, and there are a few keywords that are quite hacks specific. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.